back to my channel today I'm here with a new video today we will be doing a foundation comparison we will be comparing the new Lancome care and glow foundation versus the new ambient foundation from our well, y'all have been asking me in the comment section which one do I like best I really don't know so that's why I'm doing the video I feel like both of these foundations are pretty much the same thing once you look at them on paper as far as the ingredients as far as how they're supposed to wear but in today's video we will be putting it on my skin and seeing exactly how does each uh, foundation perform against one another but before we get started if it is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button today for primer I will be using my Givenchy prism mattifying primer So basically what I'm going to do is put the hourglass on the right side of my face and Lancome on the left side. Also, um, the hourglass foundation is not a perfect shade match for me. I've been waiting for this to come in store at Sephora before I go and purchase another shade. I just want to swatch a few. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I know there's going to be somebody in the comment section telling me that this is not my correct shade. I know that already. I don't need nobody telling me something I know already. So. To avoid all that, yes, this is not an exact shade match. I'm aware. So I'm going to just apply one pump like that, and then I will apply it. I will apply the Lancome Care and Glow Foundation to the left side of my face. my face looks like with both foundations blended out I haven't put any concealer or anything on um, yet I will say the side that has the Lancome foundation on um, has a little more coverage like I don't see any of my dark spots on this side of my face peeking through on this side I definitely still can see them uh, peeking through with one pump of foundation I'm sure y'all see them right there like it's still peeking through it doesn't look bad but this just has a tad bit more overall um, they both look the same exact way. It looks like um, my skin but better. It's definitely very flawless. It hasn't settled into any um, pores on my face as of yet. But um, I'm going to finish up my face. Honestly, today, I'm going to just put a little concealer, bronzer, mascara. That's pretty much it. Because after um, I finish this, I'm pretty much I'm going to work out. So there's no point in me putting a lot of makeup on. So I'm not going to do a lot. We're just going to really see how this foundation really performs outside in the heat because I'm actually going running and it's super hot today so this found both foundations will really be put to the test today. Alright y'all I'm back with both foundation on. I have the hourglass foundation on the right side of my face and I have the Lancome foundation on the left side. Um, I still feel like this side has a tad bit more coverage. Um, not saying that this doesn't but you can still see again some of my dark spots uh, peeking through this side. You barely can see anything, which I'm happy about. Also, it really looks like I have on exactly one foundation. It's hard to tell that I have on two different foundations and two shades that are totally different. Because I feel like Lancome was a perfect shade match for me in Hourglass. We already know it's not the ideal shade match, but it doesn't look bad. Also, in person, I do like the Lancome side a lot better and it has nothing to do with um, it just being a better shade match. I feel like um, in this area of my face, my T-zone area, this side looks a little more flawless. Like, it looks very poreless. Not saying that this side doesn't, but I just like this side a lot better. I feel like it just looks better. Right. Um, of course, I will wear this for a couple hours and then I'll be back to show y'all what my face looks like. Give y'all my final thoughts. Let y'all know which foundation that I like the best. I'm not going to tell y'all which one that you should go out and pick. That's up to you. But I'll just tell y'all which foundation I feel like works better for me when they're um, in comparison to each other. So I'll see y'all in a couple hours. 
All right, y'all, I'm back after having both foundations on for a little over nine hours. I have the Hourglass Foundation on the right side, and I have the Lancome Foundation on the left. As you see, I am shiny in my T-zone area on both sides, but I do feel like the side that has the Hourglass Foundation has started to produce a little bit more oil in my T-zone area. Now, it's not that big of a difference, but I do feel like I am just a slight uh, bit shinier on this side. Outside of these foundations are pretty much the same exact thing. Um, they wore the same exact way throughout the day. Um, when I applied them, I didn't see that much of a difference. And they held up the same exact way in 90 degree weather. Now, a majority of the wear test today, I was asleep. I don't think I fell asleep for about a good five hours. Um, and when I woke up, this is what my face looks like. It looks the same exact way. On paper, these are the same exact foundations. They perform the same exact way. I don't know which one I would recommend over the other, but I will say I definitely would not go pick both of these up because they are too much alike. Um, some of the slight differences is that this um, Hourglass Foundation has 32 shades, Lancome has 30, and Lancome is about $10 cheaper. Other than that, these are pretty much the same exact thing. I do feel like you would have an easier... Um, time finding a shade in the Lancome foundation versus finding one in Hourglass as of right now just because I know in my personal opinion when you look online the shade and the model are not adding up hopefully there's enough um, reviews of this by now that you could narrow down your exact uh, shade I haven't watched any reviews on this um, but I am going to wait till this is in store to find my correct shade. The shade I have is 14.5 and again this is not my ideal shade match. And I have the shade 510 neutral in this and as you see this is a spot on shade. Right, shade selection I think it will be much easier to find your shade in this one. There's no need to go pick up both of these because they pretty much do the same exact thing. They wear the same exact way. They hold up the same exact way. You don't need both. So yeah. Um, Y'all let me know in the comment section which side do you feel like looks best or do you feel like it looks the same exact way to you as well. And y'all let me know in the comment section which foundation do you plan to pick up. Let me know if you have both of these. Which one do you like? Which one you don't like? Leave all that below in the comment section. And most importantly, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.